I got a question for y'all. Um, is Frank Ocean really what y'all saying? Now, what's the term? Is Frank Ocean really him? Is he really that dude? I've always thought he was, you know, slightly overrated in my opinion. But for some reason, um, he headlined Coachella. And uh, let's read what was said about his set. Uh, Frank Ocean reportedly nearly dropped out of Coachella last night after requesting significant last minute changes to his stage production, resulting in delays and tension with the festival festival organizers. OK, so here's what was said. Um, it's like a whole article about it. I've been speaking with sources about exactly what transpired and how things went so far downhill Sunday for Frank Ocean and Coachella. So here you go. The stage production was supposed to and did contain an ice ring that was constructed and ready to go. Frank decided at the last minute that he no longer wanted it all. All of the people walking around him at the start of the performance were actually ice skaters had been practicing for weeks and were supposed to be skating as part of the production. Coachella had to deconstruct the approved stage that had been planned and signed off on months in advance, melt the entire ice ring, and then set it up how Frank decided today with no warning, which is what you ended up seeing, and caused the hour-long delay. This all happened when doors had already opened for Sunday and people were securing their spots to see him. If the last minute changes weren't made, he wouldn't he wouldn't have performed at all, leaving the festival without a closing headliner. Frank also personally pulled the plug at the last second on the live stream, which left a very sour taste in in ooh, duh, I cannot read, which left a very sour taste in many inside Coachella's mouths. Ultimately, and I quote, it just didn't seem like he wanted to be there, but was obligated to be. Everything, including him, fell apart last minute. Don't expect to see any coverage from the festival about the set. Something that is unprecedented in the history of Coachella. The relationship is not in a good place right now. So, basically, at the very last minute, he basically cost people money. You cost Coachella money, you cost the ice skaters money because they, man, they have been practicing for weeks and all of a sudden you don't want to do it. Now they don't get to perform. This was probably a big moment for those skaters. Now they don't even get to perform, probably don't even get paid because they didn't perform, which is just crazy. Very inconsiderate. Now, if he didn't want to do it, if he changed his mind about it, you let them know way in advance because you said they it was already signed off months in advance. You could have changed your mind months ago. But you decided all of a sudden when I get there, you know what? I don't want to do that no more. You're not considering the ice skaters. You're not considering the workers who had to set up the stage and now has to get rid of the ice rink altogether. You didn't consider the fans. How they felt about you being late? Because me personally, I would have been pissed. Like, bro, you're supposed to perform at 8 o'clock. It's 9 o'clock. Where you at? No excuse for that. You know he probably got paid hundreds of thousands of dollars to perform. And my thing is, is that why is he even closing Coachella? Frank Ocean hasn't dropped an album since, let me look at this. I think it was 2006, August 20th, 2016, when he dropped Blonde. So that's. 2017, 2018, 2019, 2020, 2021, 2022. Six and a half years he has not dropped an album. Why is he headlining Coachella? He don't even care enough to give his fans music on a consistent basis. Six and a half years is a long time, bro. That's a long time without an album, bro. What is it about Frank Ocean that y'all just love so much? He's always came across, I ain't going to say always, but just reading this, this guy's a world-class jerk. He don't care about nobody but himself. And the music ain't even that good. It ain't that good. 
what what is it about Frank Ocean that have these fans going crazy, spending all this money to see him? I don't understand why he's even closing out Coachella. They could have found so many different people to close out Coachella. I'm just thinking about all the people that's on fire right now. Scissor, Drake, 21 Savage. Oh, it's so many different people that could have closed that set out. I don't, I just, I, I, I don't know. He just, he's just always been overrated to me. He's always been overrated. I don't see it. And I know I'm going to get a lot of hate for this, you know, because Frank Ocean's fans is crazy. And, and, and I've listened to the music. I just, I don't get it. I don't get it. Average at best. Average at best. I just don't get it. But y'all got to let me know, why is he even close to not Coachella? And if I'm Coachella, I would never book Frank Ocean again. Do not book him. If anything, they could probably file a lawsuit against them too. If they if they really wanted to, but I'm not no lawyer. But it's like, bro, you're going to make all of these different changes when you get there. So hopefully Coachella can learn that, look, if this is what you agree to, this is what you are going to do. This is going to be the stages. What you asked for months ago is what you're going to agree to. Because it seemed like he didn't agree to what was on the contract if he had already signed off on it. That could be a lawsuit. If I'm Coachella, I'm trying to get that money back. So I don't know, man. I, I just think th this guy is just a jerk, man. And. Just overrated to me. Just I I, I don't get it. Y'all let me know what y'all think.